Why did the nationalist Chinese forces have Panzerkampfwagen 1 in their lineup? Now this question is very interesting in it itself, but it gets even more interesting considering that the Japanese were fighting the Chinese and the Japanese also signed the Anti-Comintern Pact with Germany in 1936. So the bigger background here is that the Chinese and Germany were cooperating since 1927 to 1938. Germany helped modernize the military of the Chinese, but also the industry. They provided money and equipment and of course know-how, whereas China provided raw materials. And it's also very important this was not just some backwater operation. The Germans sent no one lesser than Hans von Sacht. And Hans von Sacht might not be as famous as Erwin Rommel, Heinz Guderian or Erich von Manstein. But he laid the foundations for their later successes. He basically laid the foundations for the Wehrmacht. After the First World War, Hans von Sacht was the key reformer of the German armed forces, the Reichswehr, which later became the Wehrmacht. And in 1933, he was sent to China. And he focused on creating a small, elite, modernized army instead of a poorly trained mass army, which was still dominant there. And he had to leave in 1935 due to health reasons and one year later he died. And his successor continued his way. This was Falkenhausen. And Germany supplied small arms, artillery, armored cars and in 1937 even the Panzerkampfwagen 1. And remember, a large part of German forces on the attack on Poland were still Panzerkampfwagen 1s. So this was quite some high-tech equipment that was shipped to China. And a very notable and visible addition to the, uh, to the Chinese forces by the Germans were the 87th and 88th infantry divisions. Those were mainly equipped with German equipment, including the Stahlhelm and the Stielhandgranate, or better known as the potato smasher in English. These units were fully trained in German doctrine and with German equipment. And they fought valiantly in the Battle of Shanghai in 1937, which is also sometimes referred to the Verdun of the East or Stalingrad on the Yangtze. Finally, in 1938, Germany drawed out of China basically due to the strong alliance with Japan. Although for a very long time, the industry and the military was very pro-Chinese in Germany and because this was more or less the natural ally in Asia for that time. And this also reflects the rather weak foundation of the Axis and underlines the notion that some historians note that the Axis was basically a collection of predators and not an alliance like the Allies. But this is a topic for another day. As always, sources are in the description. Thank you for watching. If you want to check out some of my military history visualized videos, you can do here now. And see you next time.